One evening, between scenes, in a kind of no-man's land in the suburbs of Toronto, Dylan asked us into his trailer. He wasn't committing himself to an interview proper, but said we could talk for a while and see how things went. Yeah, we're just testing out here now, nothing's for sure. I mean, we're just casting people here. We're casting a little, a we're casting a little scene. We're, we're, this is from a BBC documentary yeah, that we're making about the making of Hearts of Fire, with special right. reference to Bob Dylan, as I always Exactly. Yeah. So to actually, Bob... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's wait a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> how do you decide when to? Uh, how do you decide when to, to talk to people and when not to? I hope this isn't some horrible practical joke. You think I'm talking now? I don't know. I'm maybe just playing around. <laughs> Why is that so amusing? I'm surprised you haven't really asked these questions in some other, uh, you know, like a Roger Daltrey thing. Or Peter Townsend. Well, of course I would. If or I'd Paul McCartney. If I'd know. been commissioned to make a well, film, what, what? would that involve them? I suppose I would be. I would be asking. You would have to, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say anything that you're going to get any revelations about. I mean, it's not going to happen. But, and, 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 well, I, I, I'm saying I'm not trying to do that. I mean, I hope you're in, you're in nice. Could you grow your beard just a little bit more, like, next grow to Grow it? Me? Yeah, I'll grow it. Grow it. I'll put you it down a bit for you now. <laughs> so you're not really, t I mean, anything you're telling us, you mean, is, is just, like... No, I'm trying to to uh, satisfy your uh, your need to uh, probe into my private life and thoughts here in in a, in a way that's not going to uh, embarrass me or hopefully confound me. Well, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully not confound me. Okay, just press on. You tell me what you're doing. Huh? What are you doing? Well, I'm just going to draw a, uh, something here and I'll show you later. I draw if I can draw. If it's good, I'll show it to you. If it's not, forget it. Can you talk while you're doing it? I mean, because the sure. thing we were talking yeah, about yeah, earlier before we were I can filming, talk while I'm doing is, it. I'm intrigued by this idea that your songs, a lot of them, are uh -huh. constructed like movies. My That's songs are. Correct thing to say, yeah. They're like compressed. Which ones? All along the watchtower, for example. I heard it by Hendrix first, I have to say, but it's something I really love as a song, and I've listened to all these different versions of it. It's like very tight visual imagery, as though yeah. it's been written at enormous length, and then had things stripped out of it, leaving only just these kind of key images, and then with the sort of suggestions of sound and stuff in it. I suppose what I want to know is, when you write a song, am I right about you doing it like that? I mean, no. do you... How do you, know, how do you Many ways. There's stories with visual images, that's what I'm saying, like with a, a, a lot uh, of I, I don't know whether they are. They're, they're, they are they're whatever they are to whoever's listening to them. Uh, no, I don't do those things. I don't, I don't have any plan. I don't have any uh, set way of writing songs. It's a very amusing idea. Huh? It's a very amusing idea. What, writing songs? No, drawing this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see it? I hope you'll sign it. What are you saying? I may not even show it to you. <laughs> but I read this wonderful article once about Schubert. Yeah? And this guy was saying, I've never forgotten this, he said, Listening to all these Schubert songs, you had to think that he was connected to some kind of pipe down which all this stuff came. A pipe? Yeah, some sort of a pipe or conduit. You know, because that, that, he couldn't kind of grasp that this guy Schubert was writing all these songs himself. Yeah. And the question was, where did they kind of come from? Now, he was, he was saying, well, you could only really... He managed to write in a way that kind of chilled you a bit. You know, he said, well, you could only speculate on who or what the other end of the pipe was connected to. Now, I suppose I want to know where all your songs come from. 
Well, I can't tell you that because I'm not God, you know. God only knows those things. <laughs> Some people think you are, don't they? Well, they said that about Eric Clapton too, didn't they? Yeah. You just write them like someone punches uh, rivet, I just write rivet holes. I just write them. I don't know. You know. I just write them because nobody says you can't write them. Well, at least where I come from. And the actual business and technical stuff of how you lay it out, I mean, there's plenty of people who know how to do that, but you know how to tell stories. Really? What do you like telling the stories in your songs? Not really. No. I don't, I don't know many stories that I've written. Some observations, right? Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't really call them stories. You know, stories are things which have a beginning, middle, and end. My things are more like uh, uh, short. Uh, short attention span things that, that happens in a group of crowded people that goes down uh, very quickly. So uh, a normal eye wouldn't even notice it. I'm gonna have to look at my list. I don't usually find it that difficult to ask people questions, but for someone- Oh, here's your list, I'm good. Oh, right. Here's your list, right. Right. Oh, good. Oh, All right. You know, you know how people think you're work. some some kind of shaman, don't they? Shaman. Yeah. That's the word. I mean, that has to yeah. be the word. I don't know, man. I mean, I wish you'd tell some people that you know that, that write in people write in the. I don't know what people think of me. I see. I, I only know about what how you know record companies say to you. You know, and uh, you know managers, and people like that. You know, people who want you to do things. I only know. I only hear about that stuff. It's, can you just tell us a little bit of this business, Bob, again, about what other people seem to want to do with you and what you feel it's about It's not them? me. It's everybody, you know? Everyone is a puppet master. Everyone likes to control puppets and pull their strings, but without saying, like, I am nobody's puppet. Nobody pulls my strings, you know? And uh, I'm sorry, you know? I just don't... Uh, I don't like that scene. You see, okay. I think... Oh, sorry. Let me see. I got to wait. I got just one little thing to do. And, and, but that's all, you know, that, that's all. But you see, I think that does make you, you insist that everyone's more or less the same. I think that makes you extraordinarily special, that you manage to be nobody's Listen, puppet. I come through good times and bad times, you know? So I'm not fooled by it, good times, bad times. Right now, yeah, you know, making a movie, going, you know, we've been playing some big tours, and, but uh, I've seen the bottom too, you know? So, uh, you know, you, if you can work, you know, that's the most, that's all you can ask. In this day and age, you know, you can't take that for granted. Just, just, be, just, just to work is, is, is uh, to be able to work is, is what a person should you know, strive after, you know. I think I know what you mean, but a lot of people in England watching our film, when they hear that, you know, where we've got a lot of unemployment, they might yeah, think, well, that's... Too. They might think, well, that's all very well for Bob Dylan to say that. I mean, he's got a whole lot of money and stuff. I mean... A lot of money? You don't mean money, do you? That's what I don't I mean. mean money. I mean, I start out with no money. Don't tell me. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to hear about the money. I had less money than any, anybody I know when I started out. I had no money. I mean, if you're talking about, uh, if you're talking about, you know, um, paper money, uh, and, and, and money in the bank or, or value, wealth, uh, what, what, you know, uh, possessions and all that stuff. I had nothing, you know, so. so it's it's not like I went out and got into music to, to, for, to make money. There wasn't any money to be made in music when I, when I was in. If you could just support yourself, that was, you were doing good. There, there, you know, there wasn't any money. It wasn't this big, big, uh, billion dollar industry that it is today and people do go into it uh, just to make money and it, it, because it's a uh, it's proved that you can make money in that field but um, that's a sad thing you know but I guess it could be because it changes the quality of, of, the, of, of, uh, of the of the work that's being done and you can tell I mean if you listen to the listen to the you know popular taste of the people What they've been given is 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 a different thing than. Uh